My name is Brad Duhon. I'm a neurosurgeon in South Denver, Colorado, specializing in minimally invasive spine surgery. Uh, when patients come in with a primary complaint of low back pain, anywhere from 15 to 30 percent of the time, the SI joint is implicated in that patient with low back pain. It doesn't mean it's the only source of pain, but at least it's a part of their pain syndrome. Because so many people out there have SI joint dysfunction that's never been properly diagnosed, in my opinion, it might be the most commonly underdiagnosed source of back pain that's out there. That number changes significantly when you're talking about post-lumbar fusion pain. So we ask patients, where does it hurt? What makes it better? What makes it worse? And things about their past history. Did they have a prior spinal fusion? Uh, did the pain get exacerbated by prior pregnancies? And with that information, we're kind of going down the road of possibly the SI joint being the culprit. We really have to talk to the patient. We've got to put our hands on the patient. We've got to put them through a set of provocative tests and examinations trying to tease out, is the SI joint a component in their pain syndrome? And while those examinations aren't perfect, they can usually give us a pretty good idea that the SI joint is a problem uh, before going to the next step. We always start folks with anti-inflammatories and rest, just basically take it easy and then things often quiet themselves down. Once it's been around for a while, we can try physical therapy, trying to strengthen the core muscles of the pelvis and around that joint. Uh, if those don't work, intra-articular injections, basically giving steroids into the joint can give sustained benefit. And finally, there's a burning or ablation procedure that can deaden the nerves to that joint that can also give folks weeks, if not months, worth of relief. The surgery that we, that we often recommend uh, would be minimally invasive SI joint fusion with the I-fuse procedure. So technically it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to do the procedure. It requires an incision that's slightly longer than one inch. And what we do is we come in from the side uh, across the joint and, and drill three holes and then drive three implants, titanium implants across the joint to stabilize the joint. And doing just shy of 200 of these surgeries, um, we've had excellent returns. So if you or someone you know thinks they may have SI joint dysfunction, don't hesitate to reach out. We'd be more than happy to arrange a consultation.